All right, guys, Cuddleboy32 here, check it out. So we're sitting here on the review table, and I got in front of me this little box right here. Now, interestingly enough, uh, a lot of times we get off on a tangent where we're doing reviews on real expensive stuff, and we got to get back to our basics. And think about the individuals out there who are not willing or ready to spend a huge amount of cash on a red dot, which we got right here. This is a box that was sent to the channel by uh, Penty, who also owns Hiram. This is a green red dot site, one by 20. It says it has a four MOA dot, but I'm gonna tell you something, out in the field, it's a two MOA all day long. Uh, seven levels of brightness, uh, Picatinny rail, riser scope mounts, waterproof, fog proof, tactical accessory. All right, well anyway, long story short, $29.99. Yeah, so let's go ahead and take it out of the box, see what you got. So this is the micro dot site, this is the instructions. You got a cleaning cloth right here, your gel pack. You got a couple different risers. One, this mid-level size riser. You've got a low riser. And then a perfect co-witness riser right here. So let's take a look at it. You've got an Allen wrench set right there. Very simple, very easy as red dots go. I mean, not a lot to discuss about this, but the performance level, uh, I will tell you this, I was very impressed with it. I did actually take it out to the field and mounted it to an AR9, which you're gonna see here in a few minutes. Uh, and it did really well. But what I was really impressed with was the clarity of the thing. So let's just talk about this real quickly. You've got uh, two little buttons right here. One is a green, one is a red. Uh, the thing does not have auto shut off. So for $29, that's gonna be one of the things that you're gonna have to deal with. You've got 150 hours of life on high and 2000 hours of life on low. It does use a regular old CR2032 battery. Uh, Take a look at that right now. I've already installed it because uh, at the end of the day, this is the second video I've done. Unfortunately, I uh, <laughs> formatted my uh, memory card because we went out to the range, actually did a full box opening on this thing, mounted it to the firearm and showed you how to zero it before we uh, took it out onto the range and uh, ran it through some little drills. But yeah, I was very disappointed. But uh, in any case, uh, this is a pretty, for $29, uh, you're not going to get a whole lot better than this. The only thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to remember to turn it off and on. There's no shake awake or no automatic turn off on it. Very impressed. Uh, aluminum molded body. The turrets are very uh, accurate. Uh, you will find that there are some directional arrows on there. Left for up and right for down. Nothing underneath the caps right here, but I'm going to hold it up so that you can hear the tactile turns. Wait a minute, that's my... Hold on. You can hear that. Let's go ahead and lock my screwdriver in place here. But neat. I think it's pretty much one MOA uh, per click, which is very simple, very easy. It makes it easy for you guys as you're trying to put this on. Uh, took it out, beat the hell out of it. Uh, the only thing that I would say that uh, is bothersome for me is the emitter. Uh, let me see if I can see if you can get that. Actually, let me do it like this. You can see the emitter in there on the left-hand side, but again, guys, we're talking $29.99. Beggars can't be choosers. Let me go ahead and turn it on. There is, I like the green uh, because it does well for me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven levels of brightness. Let's see if I can, there you go. You can see it. There it is. And then we can just switch it to the red one. Let's see if we can get that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So in my mind, the, uh, the green was a lot brighter than the red, but you can switch between the red and it will retain that same light level. I don't know if you can see that or not. There it is. Let me see if I can get the red. Boom. There's the red. There's the green. All right, so let's do this real quickly. This thing is very simple, very easy. Uh, let's go over some of the details. Uh, let's, yeah, pretty much that is, those are the details. There's not a whole lot that you can go into on a red dot, but the biggest detail on this thing is the price tag. Yep, made in China. Not going to tell you it's not, most likely. I don't see where it says it's made in China, but it probably is at this price but you're not gonna find uh, an economical level of uh, red dot at this price point, not made in China. 
Uh, I would recommend if you're gonna buy this thing, you've got the uh, little screws down here on the bottom. Make sure you put Loctite on those things. Let's go to the range and have some fun. Here we go, stand by. All right, so here we are. We got the Hiram, Hiram, Hiram uh, red green dot. I will tell you this right now. The green dot, uh, it is not a 4M wag. <laughs> it's like a one, one or two. I do like the green dot better than the red dot. The uh, brightness level, I would like to see a little bit brighter, but I tell you what, man, with my vision, uh, it is a perfect circle. So having that emitter in there is a little better. Battery life, battery life's a little, yeah. Okay, so you got a high, you're gonna get 150 hours. Low, 2200 hours. There is no auto on or auto off, shake awake, that kind of thing. So that's where it's going to probably not shine. Not a bad little deal. So what we're gonna do, Got uh, the other camera sitting right there. I'm going to just go through some simple drills. We'll do like uh, two on each target, see how we do. And then uh, let's uh, just go from there. We're gonna go through the uh, low ready like this, or uh, port. Let's see. <laughs> ah, gotta find the target. Here it is. Let's do that again. Put it on safe. Yep. Well, that was nasty. And I got a zero on that one. All right. Because our battery's dead. <laughs> yeah. Battery dead. You guys can see it. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, the, uh, the light emitter, this thing. Oh. Uh, so... Yeah, we're still screwing up. Ah, oh, joy. Well, I was a little too happy about that trigger system. Well, man, wait a minute. Damn it. <laughs> She's ran good there, but the, the idea is reliability. Now that I know where my points of impacts are at uh, 15 yards versus 50, let's, uh, let's put some more bullets to this thing. I'm getting excited. Hang on. All right, so uh, anyway, we went ahead and uh, zeroed that card out. But uh, yeah, windage and elevation on these things are real simple. I've got a video showing how to zero these things. I'll put the uh, uh, attachment or the uh, link down below on that video. It's very simple, very easy. Also, I'll put the link to uh, Amazon on how to purchase this thing. But literally, guys, uh, if you're looking to put, if, like say, for instance, you've got a bunch of rifles that you just want to put dots on, I uh, wouldn't have a problem recommending this thing, but like I said, I like the uh, the one, in, the uh, green dot. It's very bright, uh, especially outside. The It was a lot brighter than the red, and it works better, better for my eyes, but that's the advantages of that thing. But in any case, guys, make sure you twin, turn them off, because it's not going to turn off on itself, and you may end up with a dead battery, the downfalls. But uh, with that being said, guys, uh, check them out. Hiram. Hiram. Put the link down below. All right, we always end them like this. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom's not free, especially those people in uniform who are upholding our Constitution as it was written by our founding fathers. Never right, freedom, man. Let's go to boy 32. I am out. Y'all be good.